Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with new developments on the transit dispute that shut down buses and the sea bus for two days. Service has resumed, but there's still no deal. Today, the province appointed a special mediator as the union threatened a full-scale transit shutdown. CTV's Isabella Zafarisi is live downtown at Burrard Station where buses are moving. Isabella, tell us more about this latest development. The province has tasked highly respected veteran negotiator Vince Reddy. Reddy's appointment is being welcomed by all parties, but the union representing transit supervisors is still threatening job action if a deal isn't reached. Reddy was already working with the parties, but the appointment formalizes his role. He will now have up to six days to secure a resolution to the collective bargaining dispute. They have Vince Reddy, you know, uh, the best in, in the business, if not, and then that, that person has the skills and uh, experience to bring parties together. If that doesn't happen, Reddy will then issue non-binding recommendations. The Greater Vancouver Board of Trade says it's hoping a deal will be reached. We heard from countless members who said it was incredibly disruptive. But we also now hear that the union is threatening to escalate if a deal is not done. That is disappointing and it's very concerning. QP 4500 says if a deal isn't reached by February 3rd, it will strike for 72 hours. The BC General Employees Union that represents Canada Line and West Coast Express employees says it won't cross the picket lines if job action occurs. Our transit system obviously is interconnected. Um, and of course, if, if the uh, QP 4500 members choose at any point uh, to erect picket lines around any um, transit hub that is cross-connected, we will uh, enthusiastically support those lines. Coast Mountain says it has offered the supervisors a 13.5% wage increase, but the union wants 25%, though the union is not confirming that. While the union is threatening to shut down all transit in the region, there is a hearing on Monday that will last several days. Now that hearing will decide whether striking supervisors will be allowed to picket outside SkyTrain stations. Mi Jung? Thank you, Isabella.